Uh, hi, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Padayalam, continuing class series on uh, biology for engineers, BBOC 407, module 2, part 3. Okay, so this is the syllabus which I am covering. First two topics already covered in uh, part 1, part 2. The third topic that is nucleic acids in uh, vaccines and uh, diagnosis. Okay, so this is the course outcome CO1, CO2, CO3, CO4 mentioned, which is required for students to understand. Uh, to understand what they are going to learn after uh, completing this this uh, course, what is the outcome of this? This is outcome based education. Okay, so please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, my intuition, uh, like the videos, share the videos to others. Uh, the notes, uh, the study material, which is that PPT which I have prepared, uh, the assets I am converting into PDF and I am uh, attaching uh, the link to the description box of each video. You can uh, download it from there. That's, that itself is my note. If uh, anybody has notes, that itself is my note. Otherwise, detailed note, uh, I, that is my book work. Okay, that will not uh, give for open. Okay, so uh, moving to the uh, YouTube channel. My YouTube channel, my intuition uh, 4865, uh, this particular one. Okay, uh, module 2, that is application of biomolecules. Uh, Question number three, uh, discuss the application of nucleic acids in vaccine development and uh, diagnosis. Provide examples to support your explanation. Okay, carries 10 marks. Uh, introduction to nucleic acid, two marks. Role in vaccine development, four marks. Role in uh, diagnosis, uh, two marks. Examples, uh, two marks. Okay, uh, so move on to the topic. Uh, introduction to nucleic acid. So nucleic acid, we know it is uh, very crucial biopolymer. For all life forms, they come in two main types: uh, DNA deoxy ribonucleic acid and RNA ribonucleic acid. Uh, DNA is a double stranded one; RNA is a single stranded one. DNA carries the genetic blueprint uh, of an organism. Uh, DNA is a double stranded molecule made up of nucleotides units, mainly the adenine, uh, thymine, cytosine, and uh, guanine. And these nucleotides in uh, DNA pairs like uh, adenine with thymine, uh, cytosine with guanine, they form the structure of DNA. The human DNA, uh, for instance, uh, it consists of around uh, 3 billion base pairs uh, and uh, it encodes the instructions and uh, the necessary requirement for building and maintaining the human body. Whereas the RNA, that is ribonucleic acid, it is a serves as a messenger that carries instructions from DNA for uh, protein synthesis. Unlike DNA, RNA it is usually single stranded and comes in uh, several forms like mRNA, tRNA, and uh, rRNA. Okay, so uh, the details: uh, DNA essential wire life form. They store genetic information. Double strands is the single strand types are uh, RNA, that is mRNA, tRNA, and rRNA. Okay, so mRNA. Uh, what is mRNA? question may come. It carries the genetic information from DNA to ribosome that is we call it as a messenger RNA where the proteins are synthesized in the ribosome the messenger RNA carries the genetic information. It takes the DNA strand, a single strand DNA strand. Transfer RNA it helps in decoding the messenger RNA into a protein by printing by, by bringing the appropriate amino acids uh, during the protein synthesis and the ribosomal RNA with the uh, uh, with the proteins uh, makes up the ribosome the site of protein synthesis that is uh, ribosomal RNA. For example, the messenger RNA of the uh, COVID-19 uh, the spike protein is, is used in vaccine to prepare the immune uh, response to elicit the immune response. Now the uh, functions of uh, nucleic acid or uh, the nucleic acid role uh, or functions of uh, nucleic acid in uh, various uh, uh, applications DNA stores uh, uh, and uh, transmits uh, genetic information. For example, DNA in chromosomes uh, it is passed from parents to the offspring carrying the hereditary information. RNA plays a key role in uh, translating this genetic information uh, into proteins. For instance, the messenger RNA directs the synthesis of uh, insulin in the in the pancreas. Uh, demonstrating how the genetic information it is translated into a functional protein. Now the role in uh, vaccine development, nucleic acids role in vaccine development, they play a very crucial or critical role in the development of the modern vaccines, particularly DNA and uh, messenger RNA vaccines, mRNA vaccines. 
the DNA vaccines uh, they contain the engineered DNA that encodes the, an antigen, uh, uh, which is a protein from the pathogen. An antigen is created uh, from the proteins of a pathogen. Pathogen means the one virus which is attacking us. So when injected, the DNA is taken up by the cells, which then produce the antigen, uh, triggering an immune response. An example for such a DNA vaccines developed is for the Zika virus. mRNA vaccines, on the other hand, they, are, they use mRNA encoding the antigen. Once injected the mRNA, it is translated by the host cell to produce the antigen which, uh, which elicits the, uh, an immune response. Example of uh, messenger RNA vaccine include the COVID-19 vaccine developed by the Pfizer uh, BioNTech uh, company as well as the Moderna, uh, uh, Moderna which is actually called as mRNA 1273. Okay. Now the uh, mechanism of uh, immunization. Mechanism in, in case to, to generate the antigen, the nucleic acid, the DNA or the mRNA, it is directly injected to the body. Uh, the nucleic acid, it enters the cell where the, the host machinery, it uh, transcribes uh, for DNA and uh, translate it into a targeted antigen. And the antigen is then presented uh, on the cell surface or uh, it is secreted, prompting the immune system to recognize and respond to it. Now the advantages of nucleic acid vaccines, uh, like uh, they are uh, rapid development, uh, these vaccines can be very quickly designed and produced once the pathogen's genetic sequence is uh, understood or it is known. For example, the COVID-19 vaccine, they were developed within a year of uh, the virus being uh, sequenced. Since they do not use pathogens, uh, this type of uh, nucleic acid vaccines, there is no risk for causing the disease. For example, uh, the mRNA vaccines for COVID-19, it cannot cause the disease. They elicit both uh, the <coughs> humoral um, antibody mediated uh, and as well as the uh, cellular, uh, which is the T cell uh, mediated uh, immune responses leading to a high efficiency rates in uh, preventing infections such as the COVID-19. Now, move on to the role in uh, diagnosis. Uh, nucleic acid uh, based uh, diagnostic techniques, they are essential for accurate and rapid detection of uh, the uh, virus or the, uh, the pathogens. Uh, for example, the uh, PCR, the polymerase chain reaction, uh, it, it amplifies very small quantities of DNA or uh, RNA to, to, to a detectable level. Uh, again, example, COVID-19 uh, diagnosis test, uh, often they used RT-PCR, you might have heard about it during that time, RT-PCR test. So RT-PCR that is used to detect the viral DNA, uh, confirming the active infection. The sequencing uh, it determines the exact sequence of a nucleotide in DNA or RNA, which is a technique which is used to identify the mutation, uh, studying the pathogen strains uh, and uh, conducting the genetic research. For instance, the sequencing uh, the genome of uh, the sars uh, uh, cov 2 which helps uh, to track the mutations and understand the virus uh, evolution of uh, the COVID. Now the advantages of uh, 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 nucleic acid uh, in uh, diagnostics application, they are very highly sensitive and specific. Is the technique using nucleic acid for diagnosis, they can detect a very minute amount of uh, nucleic acid ensuring the accurate diagnosis. For example, the PCR test can detect even very low levels of uh, SARS-CoV uh, RNA. Okay, they will take very small sample from our mouth and the nose and that is more than enough uh, they, they can identify. So that much sensitive and less specific it is. It is very rapid, the results are also very rapid, quick results which is crucial for a, a timely medical uh, intervention. The rapid RT-PCR test uh, that is done for uh, COVID-19 give the result within few hours. Uh, they are very versatile also. The method can be used for a wider range of uh, pathogens and genetic conditions. For example, the PCR uh, uh, used for detecting infections like uh, HIV or influenza and more applications it is used. Now last topic that is examples. Uh, examples already I mentioned many. 
uh, for example the covid 19 mrna vaccine uh, that pfizer uh, p f i z e r pfizer uh, i don't know exact pronunciation uh, pfizer uh, bio and tech uh, which is actually the code name b n t 162 b2 this vaccine it uses uh, mrna to produce the the protein the spike protein of uh, sars cov 2 uh, which prompting an immune response another one is moderna mio m o d e r n a moderna that is mrna 1273 it, it, similarly this vaccine it uses mrna for uh, the the spike protein to to create the immunity the zika virus dna vaccine uh, it is an investigational dna vaccine uh, encoding the uh, uh, genes of uh, zika virus uh, to uh, to create a uh, response against that virus then diagnostic example so that is uh, covid 19 rt pcr test uh, widely used to detect uh, the uh, from the patient's sample confirming the active information uh, infection they were very crucial uh, during that covid 19 pandemic uh, time then hiv diagnostic test can be do pcr uh, uh, based uh, uh, test can detect the presence of hiv rna which is essential for the early diagnosis and uh, monitorial uh, viral load in infected individuals so these tests are vital uh, for managing and treating the hiv or the aids patients uh, and that's about uh, this particular class video hope you uh, it was helpful for you please do subscribe to my youtube channel once again thank you for watching my uh, my videos thank you